So I'm walking down the aisle to my wedding, and like this is every gypsy woman's dream. Oh no. I walked into a disappointment. I could smell the alcohol on him. I was just so disappointed. This is not how things are supposed to go. This is not how this was supposed to go at all. This isn't romantic in the slightest. He's drunk, he's got cake everywhere. You know what, I'm just gonna slip out the back with my cousin. Next thing you know is we're like running out of these doors together. Okay, so now what happens What happens to this guy? He's just back in there by himself. He's eating cake. He thinks he just got married. Dude, your wife came in here, took one look at you, and said, yeah, I think I'm just gonna go bang my cousin. This is the type of shit that happens on my big fat American gypsy wedding. Go to some kind of party. What do you know? A fight breaks out. Then they go to a wedding, and hey, look, they're all yelling and screaming and fighting with each other. People on the show, they think they're in like West Side Story or something, like their life is this whole romantic fairy tale, when in reality, they're just getting married to some toothless drunk dude eating cake. Not that there's anything wrong with that this dude's badass pretty much everyone in the show is just obsessed with marriage and they all want their kids to just think about marriage from the moment that they can think at all even to the point where one family brings their 10 year old to meet potential husbands all of the adults on this show pretty much do the opposite of what any normal sane person would do in the same situation for example most parents would probably want their children to grow up and mature and then find someone that they love that they actually care about to marry but on this show they're like hey I know you're only 10 years old but uh, we're pulling you out of school and you're gonna get married to this dude we found on the side of the road. Don't even think about a career or any of that shit. My name's Marianne and I'm from Youngstown, Ohio. It breaks my heart that the traditional gypsies are a dying breed. And it's a culture that we work very hard to maintain. Oh, okay, it's a culture you work very hard to maintain. Let's let's see what that culture consists of, according to this woman's daughter. All gypsies like to show off. We like to get loud. We're crazy. We like to party and just have fun, and we are all blinged out while we do it. Do you know how hard it is to maintain a lifestyle where I, where I just party and get drunk all day, and then set my teenage daughter up on dates to meet potential husbands? Breaks my heart that this culture is a dying breed. I, I don't see why. I missed you today. After my party, my brother Austin's friend reached out to me and told me that he had feelings for me. My name is Kenny and I'm a gorger. For those who don't know, the word gorger is a derogatory term for anyone who's not a gypsy. So they have a word for anyone who's not them. And they talk about gorgers with total disgust, which means they're just disgusted with like 99% of the, of the world's population. Kenny and I were talking for like a week and then we started dating for like a week and then he asked me to marry him and I said yes. It's a pretty standard order of events for a 16 year old. Uh, talk to some guy who's 23 for a week, then date for a week and, and then just get married for the rest of your lives. Lexi thinking that she's just gonna marry this gorger and everything's gonna be all right it's not reality to help her change lexi's mind marianne has brought in the big guns lexi's aunt stacy oh god this cannot be good it's like introducing a villain this is what the karens of the world are like after the most recent update this stuff is not going on not on my Okay, come on. This woman does not deserve to have that sparkly noise over her name when they introduced her. It's, it's ridiculous. She's gonna marry a Romney. That's that and that's all. Aunt Stacy Lee's in the house today. This is bad. This is bad, bad. Funniest thing about this whole situation is they're not upset that she's 16 years old trying to get married. They're just upset that it's a gorger she's trying to marry. You know, one of those disgusting gorgers like almost every single human you've ever interacted with in your entire life. She doesn't know she's playing with fire. We believe in the women staying at home, cooking, cleaning, raising the babies. Gorgeous don't believe that. They want her to get a job properly. I'm telling you, those gorgeous are crazy. You cannot trust them. Just don't talk to anyone you see, ever. If Lexi wants to run off with a gorger boy, she's going to lose her family. This is coming to an end now. I'm here to talk some business. So basically, I've been thinking, you want to marry my daughter. You're not a gypsy. You aren't born a gypsy. You have no gypsy blood running through your veins. Like, I can't have you around gorgers. So I need you to get rid of them. Denounce all the gorgers in your life, including your family. All right, this, this is just insane. I don't even know what else to say. She really expects this guy to just stop talking to every single person that he knows in his life. I still find it hard to believe that they think their culture is superior to every other culture on the planet and that they're pretty much better than the vast majority of the population. Those are some bold claims and all you have to show for it is, is just a bunch of fighting at 16 year olds weddings. This is what the rest of the world is getting wrong. They're not doing this shit. Take notes, people. You quit talking to your family. You get them all out of your life. You only hang around gypsies. You don't even speak to gorgers. 
You get rid of them, or you get rid of Lexi. How can you just, like, not talk to Gorgers at all? How is that possible? How does this woman interact with people? How how does she get through life? I hate to say this, but my future mother-in-law seems like a bitch. That's your reaction to all this? Not, hey, maybe I should rethink this whole situation because she literally wants me to stop speaking to my family. Instead, you're just thinking about how your future mother-in-law is a bitch. That's... That's what you took away from this whole situation here? Future mother-in-law seems like a bitch. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. Okay, he doesn't know what to do, but the next scene, they're at the wedding, so... I feel like they skipped over some details here. Did he talk to his family? Did they sort any of this out? They're, they're just getting married now? And look, this lady's here. How could you think this is gonna go well? I've seen a woman that I know is Kenny's mom. You know I know it's her, because I can spot a gorgeous from a mile away. You can smell the gorgeous in them. You could spot a human from a mile away. Wow. Because rum needs smell good. But them garages, they stink. I know they're no good. They're like bad fish on a hot day. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you smell just wonderful. If I had to guess what you smelled like, I would have said bad fish on a hot day. That's exactly what I would have said. I was told that he disowned his family, and it was a big, fat lie. If there is anyone in attendance who has cause to believe that this couple should not be joined in marriage... I object! What? Oh, Sit no. your fucking ass down! Oh, no, he no. said no. Let me tell you what no. I think there must be a rule that there has to be some sort of conflict when they're at a wedding. It seems to always happen. He promised to turn our way and to let cheese refs go. Did you not say that? But you let them come, oh, we're here. Liars. We so deal with All it. So then these two lunatics storm off, and then the wedding just continues like normal. Come on, Angelo. Bye. Take Bye. 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 Peace out. Don't let the door hit you too hard on the way out. If Lexi wants to run off with this gorger, then she can. So be it. Like, I take my bleach and wash my hands of her. You know, family is a really important part of our culture, but if my daughter marries someone that I don't approve of, then I'm never speaking to her again, because that's how important family is to us. Are you okay? I don't know. I, I can't believe she did that. Really? You can't believe it? What the hell else was going to happen? All right, time to move on to another clip of passion and romance. I'm really nervous about today. Sierra has asked her cousin Kyle to give her away. Kyle's my only family. That's why I want him to be a part of the wedding. Oh, he'll be a part of the wedding. Don't worry. Don't you worry about that. It's going to be one of the harder moments in my life. Because um, at the end of the day, like, I, I want to be where he is. All right, man, just put it right out in the open. That's, I mean, it's easier that way, I guess. Why is this dude walking like he's holding in a shit? Sam is also getting dressed to impress. Oh, dude, I even bought new sleeves for you, too. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, are you nervous? Yeah, I'm nervous. <laughs> it's all good, man. It's it's your wedding. It'll be fine. Start pre-gaming now. To have uh, somebody else that she's been in a past relationship in and given her away, yeah, it's, it's crazy as hell. Here's a general rule. If you ever feel like your potential wife might end up cheating on you with her cousin, I would just get out now. I don't mind a lot of things that go on, but this is just, it's too much, you know what I mean? Hi, Sam. Hi, Sam. Look at her. Take you, Sierra. Take you, Sierra. He couldn't look me in my face. He dropped our wedding rings. Well, my wedding rings. I like how the pastor reminds him that he should probably be looking at his wife. Instead, he's thinking, when the hell can I eat that goddamn cake? I'm, I'm going to go crazy with that shit. You may seal your vows with a kiss. Yeah! It's a good start. Yeah, it's a really good start to a marriage right there. So we're going to go cut this cake. Cut the cake! Uh, nothing better than a nice beer before you hork down half a wedding cake. Cut the cake! Cut the cake! Cut oh, the cake! Gross. Oh, this is awful. Couldn't even keep his eyes open. I'm gonna have a fucking seizure. Can you get out of my face for a second, please? <laughs> what the fuck is this? This is so gross. You know, maybe it's just me, but one of the last things that I would want to do when I'm absolutely hammered is just shove three pounds of cake in my face. He can't fucking talk. He can't stand. Everything that's coming out of his mouth is like a slur. Right, well, you just don't know how to party like this guy does. I thought I thought gypsies were good at partying. This guy's a gorger and he's living it up over here. It's embarrassing. I'm just so mad. Okay. Oh, no. oh, you gotta get back. You gotta get back. That was a good one. I'm fucking. Wow, he was about to lift this entire chunk of cake and throw it on her. I kind of just wish he went through with it. She's about to go bang your cousin anyway. You might as well have a little bit more fun with the situation. Like you're my fucking daddy. Put this in your face. I'm so mad right now. I can't sit by and watch this all happen to you. 
This is ridiculous. He's a fool. He married a fool. The marriage is done. I'm leaving with Kyle. This dude's just vibing. I don't even think he gives a shit, to be honest. Gorgers know how to party. 